head coach of Grand Valley State, Danny Callahan, Libby Google, and beat his players for Grand Valley as they beat a thrill over UT Tyler today, 2-1 to one in nine innings. Coach, give us an opening statement, please. Oh, what a game. You know, what a game. Uh, one of the benefits of having the experience that we have on the field is I can, I can, I can trust them, just put the ball in their hands and let them do their thing. So um, I got a few more gray hairs today, I'm sure. But uh, at the same time, I had all the confidence in the world in the, these guys. Yeah, you're impressive once again on the circuit today. You see Tyler was able to tie it in the seven. How were you able just to recover and bow back to help you through the actions? Yeah, I mean, you're only as good as your next pitch. Uh, so kind of focusing in on that next pitch and obviously the next pitch I got a hit too. So limiting those back-to-back -back negatives, uh, doing our best to just take it one pitch at a time, one play at a time, trusting our defense uh, and knowing that our offense was absolutely gonna, gonna bust it open and we were gonna do what we needed to do to come out on top. Today you hit the game winning uh, RBI in the ninth inning. Take us through your at bat and just the moment. Um, I mean, that's that's a moment that we've you know dreamed of as kids. We're always that's what we work for each and every day. Um, but honestly, it goes out to Joanna for getting on. You know, she took that pressure right away when she was safe on at first base. You know, all I had to do was put the ball in play, and something good was going to happen. Coach, after UT Tyler tied up with Seth Colston, the message to the team that half inning you're coming back up to the plate. Could you repeat that again? Sorry, after UT Tyler tied it up, yes. what was, would you tell the team in the dugout before they came to the plate? I don't think I told them anything. I think I just left it up to them. And, and quite honestly, I mean, they know what needs to be done. And it's stuff that we work on in practice. And, you know, we can't make that change in the, in the game. So it's just a matter of them relying and trusting everything that they do in practice, everything that we have learned over the course of this season. And like I said, I, I, I would give the ball in their hands any time. So um, I, I think I just went to the third base coach's box and uh, let them do their thing. So. Yeah, uh, so I just obviously was just trying to keep my heart rate down. That's a big moment that um, can be really nerve wracking, but I have full trust in my team, and that was a one through nine. Even the players on the bench team win. Like, that's probably one of the best team performances we've had all year. Um, so, quite honestly, there wasn't much pressure. Like I said, Joanna getting on took that pressure away. Um, and I just went up there knowing I just had to put a ball in the outfield, preferably. And I swung pretty hard, and it worked out for me. <laughs> You know, one of our team mottos is that pressure is a privilege. So I think that this past game was just a total embodiment of that and just taking each moment for what they are, being where our feet are, keeping ourselves nice and relaxed. I think the biggest focus in that situation was uh, UT Tyler. They they get on base a lot with the walk and the hit by pitch. And as long as we could limit those, that's something that I control can control. I knew that my defense was going to be able to do what they needed to do to keep the game as close as possible because they are a good team. And uh, we executed that very, very well. Keep, keep them off the bases, that's just about it. Keep them off the bases. Uh, if we can end with some really good momentum when we're on defense, that always can carry into our offensive game. So uh, just kind of trying to keep that momentum going. And then coach, for you, you know, I mentioned the difference in yesterday's game, a lot of score today, very close game, extra innings. What does it say about your team that you can, you know, you can win those games by large margins, but you can also gut out of it like you did today? Well, again, that's all the stuff that we work on in practice. You know, we, we talk about that stuff and that, that we never take the, the foot off the gas pedal. It, it's just we play our game. We don't worry about what the score is. We don't worry about all the variables that we can't control. We just want to play our game the way we play. And um, that's something that these guys have just taken to heart for five, six years. And, uh, and you know, the, the underclassmen have, have bought into that and uh, that we run our practices that way. We put a lot of pressure on them in practices. And, um, you know, they, they come through. They came through today. So that's all we can ask for. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.